Over the last few weeks, I spent over 20 hours researching the best time checking solution for Monday.com so you don't have to. And what I found was pretty interesting. In this video, you learn exactly what time checking solution works best for your business. But before we start, the video is not just based on 20 hours of research. It's also based on five years of experience working with various different companies implementing Monday.com. So if you're excited, let's dive into it. By the way, you can download all of the research in the first link in the description. As you can see, it's a document with over, I think, 20 pages where I really go in depth into every single solution, their pricing model, their security, the company behind it. I really recommend that you check it out uh, because it has way more information than this YouTube video because I couldn't just put in everything. But as you can see, there's comparison tables for different apps. Um, there's very detailed takeaways for each app, sometimes even screenshots like you can see here. So really download it for free and hopefully it helps. Let's go. So what I found is that there are actually three routes that you can take when deciding for a time tracking solution. The first solution is just Monday's native time tracking. The second solution is a Monday app and the third solution is an external app. Well, when I talk about Monday's native time tracking, I mean the column that you can add, which is called time tracking. So that's what I'm really referring to. I don't like that solution at all. And I'll tell you in a second why. The second solution, the Monday app is an app from the marketplace. There's quite a few of them and I'll go in depth into two solutions that I really like. And then you also have an external app, which also has some benefits uh, and I'll go into four of them actually. So let's go to the next step. With regards to native time tracking Monday, there's only actually two big advantages. One is that it's free and the second that it's well integrated. Like you can use it in the app, in the desktop app, in the browser, it just works because it's built by Monday and it's supported by Monday but it has quite a few downsides and I'll show you here. Uh, it has lots of limitations and I won't uh, go over all of these limitations in this video. Like you can just pause it and read through them. But I saw a lot of angry people in the Monday forums about all these limitations. And this is only the limitations that I could find. There might even be more. So that's one of the reasons why I almost never implemented for my own clients because I always run into uh, problems. And on top of that, I think a big thing, uh, which is important when you choose a solution is that it works for the next couple of years. And what I see with Monday's time tracking solution is that there's not really focus from Monday as a company for this time tracking solution. This is actually a screenshot from the uh, money.com community. And as you can see, tens of thousands of views here on the right hand side for people wanting to, you know, have new features of with regards to time tracking. But as you can see here, it's both not on the roadmap and all the other stuff doesn't seem to be on the roadmap either. So there doesn't seem to be a lot of focus from Monday as a company. And that's why I almost never uh, recommend this feature. However, there is a way that I would recommend it, which is the next thing when to use it. Well, Monday time tracking is great if you want to track item phase duration. And what I mean by that is explained easily by a service ticket. So let's say I'm a, a B2B company and I get a support ticket from my clients. Then where Monday's time tracking really shines is that you can use it in automations. So you can say when a new ticket comes in, start the time tracker. And when we've sent the first response, stop the time tracker. And then we can automatically calculate how much time that we spent to respond to the first, uh, yeah, to do the first response basically. And that's really one of the ways that Monday's time tracking shines. But as you'll see in my conclusion, it's very basic. It's not in the roadmap to be improved anytime soon. So if you're somewhat serious about time tracking, I wouldn't recommend this feature unless you use it for the item phase duration, as I just explained. So they have two other routes. Um, the route one is the Monday.com app and route two is an external app. Uh, Monday.com apps are great because they are um, integrated in Monday. So they also work, for example, in your Monday desktop app. And they just feel uh, like they are part of Monday, like they're built inside the same ecosystem. Whereas Monday external apps are usually a bit detached from the Monday platform itself. And I'll show you what I mean. But first, let's dive into the Monday.com apps. There's actually two of them that I really like. 
Um, one is called Track It and the other one is called Seven Pace. Track It is the most complete of all of the Monday.com apps at this point. They have also been around for the longest time and it's just a very seamless tool. And I'll show you in a second a demo of Track It. Um, but I also really like Seven Pace and Seven Pace is a new but promising uh, tool. They've only been around for, I think, less than a year at this point. And, uh, but it's already a really, really good tool. And it's built by a company with a lot of experience in the Jira space, in the Atlassian space, which you might know from Jira, Trello, Confluence. And they are, they are moving very quickly. And I'll show you what I mean. So Trackit is built by a company from the Netherlands and has been around for a long time. It's actually released in November 2021. You can see that in how complete and seamless the product is. They have more features than any of their competitors and their app integrates seamlessly with Monday.com. They have features like holiday schedules, which are pre-filled based on the country. They have very advanced permissions, which allow you to control uh, user access. They have a timer functionality, which is great to track time. And they have very advanced dashboards that go way further than the basic dashboards of Monday. You can try track it out for free to decide for yourself if you like the tool. Um, and also in the document, the research that I shared with you, there's a lot more information about security, the company behind it and their pricing model. So that's what I wanted to show and share with you about track it. Then next up is seven pace. Seven Pace is like the new kid on the block in the Monday.com marketplace. They have been released on August 30th, 2023, but their parent company Appfire has years of experience in Atlassian space. They have actually already built Seven Pace for the Microsoft Azure product suite and are now rolling out similar functionality to Monday.com. I really like that you can track time in a calendar view, uh, which also allows you to track time the same way you would block time in your favorite calendar app, for example. So on top of that, they have a very strong exporting and filtering option, so you can get any data out of their system exactly the way that you want it. Also for 7Pace, it's free to try, so you can try it out in the Monday.com marketplace and see if you prefer 7Pace over track it. In the um, sheet that I shared with uh, all the research, you also see a comparison where you see all the uh, things that 7Pace has and track it has and which one is better at this point. It's good to know that there are a few feature gaps currently for 7Pace that track it does have, but most of them will be solved within a couple of months or maybe a year. Um, for example, in Q3 2024, they will have advanced permissions just like track it. And in 2025, they will have API integrations a timer functionality and an approval system. And with regards to the future, there's quite a few interesting things that are potentially coming up. So they built a desktop app for their Microsoft uh, seven pace uh, yeah, version. And that's pretty cool because then you have, can you have like, for example, widget on your desktop. So it flows on top of your monday.com instance, but feeds all the data into Monday. So you could just play around in Monday and, and work while there's always a desktop app tracking time, which you might know from other apps like Toggle. And also there's a bit of speculation, like there's other stuff that they can do. Uh, one of the things that I asked them a few times about, and they have actually been considering it, is an integration with Outlook Calendar or Google Calendar or both. So if you, for example, have a meeting with your boss, you can instantly, it would suggest that you track time on a specific thing for, um, um, yeah, within 7Pace. Or a different example, if you have a meeting with a client, you can instantly uh, track time on that client's project with an integration like that. Another thing, which is also a speculation, is that they can potentially support a multi-product uh, time tracking in the future. So if you, for example, use Monday.com for your project management, but Pipedrive for your CRM or HubSpot, then maybe with their desktop app, you can still, um, track time across all the other stuff while it's actually really inside monday.com. Obviously that's still speculation, but it's stuff that I wouldn't be surprised if it comes to seven pace in the next couple of years, 
Um, so I, I really like what, what the guys are doing and I see a lot of potential in their tool, even though they have a few feature gaps that track it really uh, does solve at this point. So if we go into the next uh, part, here's the comparison that I talked about. So as you can see, we have a native time tracking, which is Mondays, seven pays and track it. As you can see, it's pretty clear track it has a, yeah, a green check mark for most of the things. And, but it's also good to note that seven pays for most of them will build those features either in end of 2024 or 2025. Um, so that's, yeah, the big difference between the two at this point. It's good to note that the pricing per seat is a bit different. Seven pays is more around three to four dollars per seat uh, per month and track it is more five to six dollars per seat per month. So yeah, it's really a question of which user experience do you like better? Which tool do you like better? Uh, which features do you need? And which ones are really required from the start and which one could wait a little? So that's what you would need to check out if you wanna choose a monday.com app. However, when would you choose for an external app? When, well, there's actually two situations. Uh, one is if you wanna track time across multiple tools. So all those Monday apps really live currently inside of Monday. So if you, you know, regularly, regularly work with separate tools, then sometimes an external app that's outside of Monday works better because then you can just track time across multiple things. As an example, if you're a designer, you might work a lot in Photoshop, but keep track of your projects in Monday and all the time that you're in Photoshop, um, it would be nice to you know have like a widget or something that makes it easy to track time. Whereas it would be annoying to keep switching back to Monday just for the sake of tracking time. However, for other people, it might not be a problem. So that's up to you. The other reason not to switch or not to choose or to choose for an external app is if it's if you already use an external app and it's just a big hassle to migrate. Like maybe your external app works great, you really like it, but yeah, you're just looking at other solutions. Well, if you have a team of 60 people and you have to retrain all of them to a new time tracking tool, you have to move all the data, you know, you have to figure everything out of new uh, again, then yeah, that's just annoying. It could take a lot of time uh, and, and resources. So maybe that would be a reason not to choose an external app. However, when I looked into the external apps, I looked into four of them in particular, Ever Hour, Toggle, Harvest and Clockify. Um, and the one that I was super surprised about is Ever Hour, in my opinion. Like they have a very seamless integration with Monday, even though it's a bit hard to set up at first, um, but it's way better than the other tools that I found. If you look at Toggle and Harvest, it's interesting that they are really promoted as if they are integrating well with Monday. Like Monday says, we have an integration with them. It's even in their integration center. However, the integrations are not that great. And I'll show you in a second. And with regards to Clockify, another popular tool, there's not much of an integration at all. But if you're a make.com wizard, you can really build any integration that you want. And I think that's true for all of these options. Uh, however, I know a lot of people that don't want to mess with uh, complex automations to build their own time tracking system, and they would rather have an integration that just works from the get-go. So let's dive into EverHour because I really like it. So there's a few highlights with EverHour. Uh, one is it supports, so it's good to know that it works with the Chrome extension and it supports uh, almost every popular browser, Chrome, Safari, uh, Microsoft Edge, Opera and Firefox. So that's great. Uh, they are also very good at time tracking across multiple tools. So they support, for example, Pipedrive, GitLab and 21 other tools. So that's pretty good. And they have a very seamless integration with Monday. Like I really like what they did and how you can see how much time is left on, uh, on a project within Monday as if it's built by Monday. Um, they have lots of options that I think are just great and are really, um, yeah, I, I, I was really surprised honestly by, by EverHour. However, there are two disadvantages about EverHour. One is that it's a browser extension. This means that it does not work with Monday's desktop app and also not with Monday's mobile app. 
So if you or your team likes to use those, they are basically forced not to use them anymore because you cannot track time in them because it's a browser extension and not a Monday app. The second disadvantage, which is quite annoying, is that it's pretty hard to set up. Like when you install EverHour, first of all, you need to understand how to set up, uh, how to install a Chrome extension, which is already a new thing for a lot of people. And then once you in install the Chrome extension, you would need to fill in an API key. And a lot of people don't even know what an API key is or where to find it, let alone how to put it into a Chrome extension. So yeah, it's quite hard to set up for your team, but when it's set up, it works very seamlessly. Um, so yeah, it has some ups and downs, but every tool has that really. So it's really a matter of are those ups and downs important for your business? Um, when we look at the recommendations that I have, I think for small teams on a budget, ever hour could be very interesting, specifically because they are free for up to five seats. So yeah, just if you're on a budget, that is uh, great, obviously. However, you have a few downsides that you would need to accept, which yeah can make sense on a smaller team. However, if you're a small medium business or even an enterprise, I would highly recommend uh, looking into TrackIt or 7Pace for the seamless money.com integration. Um, they both have almost all certifications that you can think of with regards to security. Uh, however, if you wanna see the details, please take a look at the research document because uh, I'm pretty sure that 7Pace has more certifications than Tracker does, uh, especially if you're, for example, in the healthcare industry and need uh, a HIPAA certification. Um, so yeah, that's just good to double check. But it's good to know that they are actually actively working on it and uh, they have most of the certifications in place. Well, if you're a team that really wants to track time across multiple tools, then I would actually recommend an external app such as EverHour, um, if EverHour supports those other tools as well. Uh, and otherwise you can still go for Toggle or Harvest because those are just completely separated from your other tools and therefore will always work. However, it won't be super seamless. So that's actually my recommendation. Thank you very much for looking at this video. Hopefully you know exactly what tool works best for you. Don't forget to download the free research below because you'll find more information on every specific tool. If you want to support the channel for free, just like this video and subscribe. That would help a lot. If you have questions about time tracking in general or specific tools, just leave them as a comment and I'll happily answer them. And if you need help with personalized advice or a tailored system, you can always reach out to me in the uh, description. You can find all the details about me and how to uh, schedule a call with me to discuss your project. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.